Hi guys, as you can see, I've got my passion planner in front of me this morning. That's because I'm going to do a monthly plan with me for the month of December. Uh, I am going to be using a monthly kit again from Rachel at Ellie Beth Designs UK. Um, you may have seen that I did a November setup um, for the month where I used a kit. The kit has been redesigned, slightly reformatted slightly since then, so I'm going to try and use a whole monthly kit on this spread um, so now you get um, your days and your washi and your numbers and then you get this sheet as well which has got the strip and some washi boxes and then I also bought this sheet which now comes separately which has got all the icons and the boxes and things on and then I've bought this part of the notes kit um, to use as well for my monthly spread um, I'm not really setting up the month in my happy planner in the same way that I was before, so I'm only really using kits for the monthly views in this planner. Um, so as normal, what I've done that I usually do off camera is I've put the name of the month on the washi ready to go. Um, from my other monthly spreads, you can if I just flick through. Um, I've only really been using. Um, sorry, I'm trying to put a camera. Uh, I've only been really using the name of the month at the top, um, but I decided because I've got this beautiful long bit here, I was going to use the whole bit of washi. So <clears throat> it isn't quite uh, December yet, but as we know, I like to set up in advance in my passion planner. Um, I have left it a little bit longer this time to set this up. Um, I've changed, so I'm just trying my exacto knife. Um, I've changed the way that I do um, my future planning. So I can actually, I'm not actually putting as much in advance in my passion planner. I'm just putting everything in when it gets around to sort of planning it. Um, so now I use a happy planner that is just pen pretty much and has all future dates, tasks, events, everything in it in one fell swoop, um, which is working really, really well. Um, so I decided I was going to put that across there because I really like this strip of washi. Um, normally in the past, Rachel's dates have kind of been this side on some of the patterns or central. This was much further to the right hand of the strip, but that's fine. That works still for me. Um, and while I'm still got it up this way, I'm going to put down this strip here, which will hopefully fit. Um, so as you could see, I put some washi down in advance. So I put my washi that goes down the side so I can find it easily. And I decided to try washi underneath the strip that I put down here this month. Because um, you remember in the older kits, the older notes kits, I was using um, the long thin note strip um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom box off because of putting down other stickers and because I don't actually use all of these so having one less isn't going to make much difference to me. I will leave the monthly focus up there because I have been using those and enjoying using those. Um, so discard the leftover sticker um, now these ones, this is where I'm having a little bit of a conundrum about what to do. If I just peel it up gently. This is the Oh Little Town kit, which was, actually, no, I think I'll be okay. Um, it was released last year and it was all sort of beautiful greens, like foresty greens, and I loved it. I think it was one of my favourite um, Christmas kits that I used last year. And I love the blues in this, but this I don't want to cut down if I can help it because it's such a beautiful pattern. Um, so my thought is if I place it down along here, bear with me on this, um, I can then trim along the top once it's laid down, although that's not laid down straight, so that's going to annoy me. So bear with me just while I'm doing this because this is very much an experiment on how I might do things in the future. Um, I don't really know to be honest. It's partly making up as I go along. There we go. Making up as I go along. 
We're not really surprised by that by now, are we? Um, so I will lose a little bit off the top of the spire, but actually I think I can cope with that. And then hopefully... No. Let's try that again. Hopefully... Can be optimistic here. Point that in long nails so I can't pick up a sticker. It's tweezer time. Okay. Oh no. So this isn't perfect, but I feel it's enough to make the point. It'll be fine. Um as you can see, just what just popped into my mind, not only did I put the washi down in advance, you can see I've got the pencils. These are from the Geeky Planner, which are all the kind of like tea tree stuff that goes go on in school so I've put down the important things in advance and then when I come to doing sort of a bit more setup then I'll put down like all the assemblies and all the staff meetings and everything else that needs to go into um, my planner so date covers these are now smaller than they used to be so I am not convinced that these will work as well as they did I'm just going to try number one no. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause. I'm going to do this off camera because this is the faffy bit. I, I call it the faffy bit. The bit that takes a bit of time that you don't actually need to see me do because I'm just putting flags down on the dates. But what I'm probably going to do first is just put a tiny bit of white out over all the numbers just so that I can see it, see the numbers really clearly. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Okay guys, so I have done that now. Um, there are little bits of white out that you can see and I think because the flags are darker it doesn't matter too much. If it was paler I might be a bit concerned. Also I timed pausing that really really well because the water board have just decided to start digging outside my house and they did most of the digging whilst I paused the camera. So hopefully it won't be too noisy whilst this is going on. Um, I haven't put down the day, the headers for the days. Um, I know these will not quite fit completely, but hopefully it will be deep enough to cover most of, in fact I'm going to use my tweezers to help line this up, most of, um, oh yes, most of the day. So you get a little bit of grey underneath, but I don't mind that too much, because that happens with most of my spreads when I use day covers in my passion planner so I shall do this there we go Thursday I always have to check I've got these the right way around because quite often because on the weeks unless it's a Sunday start I nearly always put Monday on the Sunday um, which does confuse me sometimes. One time I did it and I didn't notice till about Wednesday and I got really, really confused and then realised what I'd done. But that's okay. I worked it out in the end. And then obviously because I've got this one left over because I don't need it where I'm not using an Erin Condren because normally you have it sort of above this strip here. So that's that. Now while I've got it this way, I'm going to take this strip here and I'm going to run it along here so that you've got the two angels kind of looking towards each other across the gap at the top, which I quite like. There we go, got that in the end, so, sorry about that, there's that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the end of this row, and then do, repeat this on the gap over here with the other strip. I should have left this upside down to do this, never mind. Um, I know I've, I've probably said this before in my other video, but one thing I really love about the monthly views and the Passion Planner is that they've got um, six 
weeks so you don't get split boxes for the days which I think is a wonderful piece of design to be perfectly honest so I'm going to take these and want that bit or do I want that bit we'll do that bit peaks a little bit but that's okay oh I could I could have done no I couldn't I'm just talking to myself now as always we know I talk to myself and talk to the stickers as well oh no oh this is what I hate about living on a main road where there is a school is that during the holidays when I'm usually trying to work there are they decide to do road works and digging and all sorts of the first summer we moved in we moved in about a week before the schools broke up and the digging took place directly at the end of our driveway. So I, my desk is in the window of our office looking out on our driveway, so it is very close. So I'm sorry about the digging and the noises and everything, guys. There's not a lot I can do about it. Just be rest assured that this will continue for most of the day and completely annoy me. so angry because we don't even get any notification that they're doing it that's the other thing that annoys me we had um it's one holiday we went away for like a day came back and there were roadworks outside the house like traffic lights and we couldn't actually get onto our driveway um no notification or anything and it was there for two weeks and it was just ridiculous and of course, you know, other drivers aren't necessarily aware of what's going on around you, so don't necessarily let you out. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to get really ranty about this as I carry on. So anyway, wash you down, head down. I love this effect because this does look like it's just looping around there, which I think is really really nice. And I don't mind this little dark bit down here. I kind of like it a little bit. So that's the main bits there. Um, we've then got the lovely notes kit. So there's these two bits of washi at the top, which I don't really have a use for at the moment, but we have this monthly habit tracker, which is gorgeous. I was going to say, I did say to myself that I would start, um, lift up a bit, start looking at, um, come on, words, what are the words? Yeah, using the plain ones that I use on my bullet journal as part of my monthly view, so I wouldn't have to buy the notes kit. But I looked at this and I was like, it's gorgeous. Um, so I have to. But I have not done enough washi down the sides. So I shall just top up the washi. I was really struggling to find washi when I set this up. Because I was like, oh, I could do a gold, but I've only got patterned gold. And I was like, no, I can't do that. And then I was like, oh, I could do a really nice deep blue. And I was like, I don't have a deep blue. And I was like, this doesn't really go, but it does at the same time. Um, if that makes sense. So it kind of, it matches the tones, but it isn't explicitly a shade of blue that's in there. So um, now to line this up, I line it up with the bottom there so that's my habit tracker for the month and as i said before like i don't really use all four of these i only use two so i've just kept the two spare for me to use which will probably be linked to coursework um projects to be perfectly honest um and then on this side we've got notes now i could tuck that up there because before I was just in case you know while I'm just thinking this through this I trimmed and had stuck up here because I didn't use this particular sticker in my passion planner spread but I think I'm just going to peel it and go for it there was one time where I had stuck it on here but obviously that will ruin most of that so I think we're just going to go for it be bold lay it down um could use this in my, actually i'm going to use that on my spread 
Um, I do have some of these lovely circles now. I didn't buy the add-on sheet that has the headers for these because they're now available in the separate sheets with the checklists. Um, I'm going to put dark on it there. I just, I don't use checklists, so the point of getting it just for the headers seemed a bit daft to me, so I didn't do it. It's that simple. Um, I do quite like these as sort of little monthly memos almost, or for what, what was going on before, after, during the month. Um, and yeah, they're a bit of an odd shape, to be perfectly honest. Well, they are for this planner, and they work beautifully in the Iron Condren planner, but, um... Yeah! Stop digging! Sorry. I know most people are at work during this time, so it's not a problem, but actually, there are several people who are retired that live near, near my house. It's just winding me up now. <coughs> Sorry. And I can't get this to lie down where I want it to either. Do that there. And that one there. There we go. Yes, that's fine because I do have some tiny bits of deco on this sheet that I'm going to take and I'm just going to put in the gap. Very simple. Okay, so now we get on to the super exciting bit of adding in some of these goodies. Um, so I will consult my master plan as it's now being referred to. Um, so as I said, this has everything in it. And mainly look at this because we had our, we had a new um, rubbish recycling system put in at the start of November and I still can't get my head around it. So trying to put in when the rubbish bins go is actually really really helpful um so <clears throat> i'm just going to use the icons these do fit in the gap really nicely on here if i just show you i've actually used these in my weekly spread um for nettles so they fit really nicely in the gaps um but equally they look quite nice like that so i'm going to take the rubbish bin for the days where it is rubbish and recycling Yes, that exciting, exciting grown-up um, things that we need to know. I believe it's the 18th. Yes. Yes, that works. Okay. So rubbish is down. Deep cleaning days. I do quite like these square little icons. I know I said before, like the all the ones at the bottom of the page were really nice, but I do quite like these. Um, so serious cleaning day is going to be the twenty third. It's going to be the deep, deep clean. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, so I'm going to put that there. Now, these, I'm going to try, these little bits of washi that I don't really use anywhere else, I'm going to try and see if I can get them to, they're not going to be enough to line up for the school holidays. So I'm going to fill the bottom of this box because this is the first day of the school holidays. There's something a little bit snazzy and a little bit jazzy. Um, put that on there. What else do we have going on? Payday. Payday is a good one. I'm going to use this little bad boy here. These are tiny. These are really, really adorable. Um, so in theory, I get paid then. I should get paid then. Occasionally, just depending on how it works, I get paid that week, basically. But it can sometimes be a little bit of a different time. Um, do you have guides? So I think I use these ones for guides. No, I use these. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened there. It seemed to freeze for a moment, but I've actually noticed this time I fixed it. So as I was saying, um, I'm going to use these little ones to represent guides. I love the different array and size of stickers that you now get on this sheet. Um, so with the nettle kit, I bought just this sheet to use in my weeklies. Um, so I'm going to use this one for guides because it's kind of small, but you can still fit a good amount of information 
in that one. Um, so I'm going to put those in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to use I'm going to use this for the first weekend in December. I've decided. That is the only thing that I'm kind of missing from Monthly Clip these days is the um, the array of washi that you used to get because you used to get nice thin bits that you could use to represent different things. But that's fine. We find ways around it. Um, so yes, that weekend I'm either away or I'm looking after the dog. Don't know for definite yet. Um, it is one or the other. I will find out before that weekend, don't worry. Um, well, I'm sure any of you are worried. And then I'll use this little bit on the Friday as well. Because it does all go into the Friday. So that will mark that weekend. Um, I'm going to put one of these down again to indicate... Um, my husband's last day at work, they have Christmas shut down in the office, so that's his last day. I'm having my nails done. Yes, I am having my nails done. So this is what I mean, I'm going to layer this one, so this will fit in here. What do you mean this is what I mean? I've already done it there. Sorry, that pause in the video and all the digging has made me slightly discombobulated. So I'm going to stick that in there. And I might just stick a little one of these in just to denote the fact that it is the first day of the holidays. Just lay them all up there. Um, other than that, at the moment, I don't believe there is a huge... Oh, I mean, there is Christmas, obviously. I'm going to find some Christmas stickers for that. There is New Year. So for New Year... I get descended upon by my friends and I cook for everybody and we we eat and we drink and we have a merry time with each other's company which is a fantastic way to spend New Year's when you've spent the whole of Christmas with your family. I think so. There we go. Never mind. So I shall pop that in there. And for now, until I get a little bit closer and I actually transfer everything in with a pen, that is where I am going to leave it. So as you can see, I've used the whole of the notes page kit. I've used pretty much the whole of the headers and the washi kit page as well. And then I've used a good number of these, but these will get used a lot more when it comes to filling everything in. So. I hope that's given you some kind of idea about how flexible these kits actually are, even though they're designed for an Erin Condren planner. I clearly do not use them in an Erin Condren planner. Um, and it might give you some ideas of how, how to incorporate different aspects of the kits into your planner, whatever planner you may use. So that's my setup for December. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, then I'm sorry. But I've enjoyed putting it together and I actually really, really love how this has turned out. And I think this looks fantastic. In fact, I'm really tempted to skip forward to January and just see. Oh, it wouldn't work in January. It wouldn't work in the same way unless I popped it down here. I could pop it down here. Anyway, I'm just planning ahead now. So that's my December spread um, and I will speak to you soon, guys. Happy planning.